There's a shot in golf that if more people used it, they would lower their score. And it's so simple. I'm going to show you how to play it and why you should play it more often. I've got a really short shot by the side of the green here. I'm just in the first cut of rough. So many golfers instinctively pick up their most lofty club, a lob wedge, because they're thinking, well, I can't, I can't put it because I've got long grass to get through. And I've got to wedge it up. The risk with a shot like this is very easy to hit too soft, hit too hard, make bad connection. If you're really confident, great. But if this is a nervy shot for you, the lob wedge, even though that was hit nicely, it's not giving me a great outcome. That was my 60 degree wedge. You'd be better off going for a safer option. Now there's two ways we can do this. There's a putter, but let me show you why a putter might not work in this situation. I'm going to show you the eight iron shot, which is a shot you definitely should play. Now with a putter from this situation, it's not a bad choice because you don't really have to get a lot to get over, but you do have this patch of long grass. Now the mistake that a lot of golfers may make is they won't hit it hard enough. They'll quit on it. And as soon as that happens, it's going to get snagged in that long grass and only go halfway to the hole. Now you can get lucky and kind of bash it through the grass. The risk is it's unpredictable. A shot like that is unpredictable, but it is a safe shot. If you definitely just want to hit the green, it's not a bad option. But let me just show you the shot that will definitely help improve your score. A shot that, again, not enough golfers play. And it's the old classic bump and run shot. I've got my eight iron here, but you could use your eight iron, nine iron, possibly even a seven iron. But I like eight iron just because it's got a little bit of loft to it without being too punishing. Now the advantage of this, I'm going to play it very similar to my putting stroke. I'm going to use a technique which doesn't really utilize my wrists or my arms. I'm going to use a pendulum like stroke and just get the bottom of the club to rub along the grass. Just come around this side. I'll show you what that looks like from this front view. So because this club would naturally go too long for that shot. I'm going to grip down on it right down to the bottom of the rubber grip. I'm going to stand a little bit closer to the ball with a very narrow stance and quite simply use a putting stroke. You can see my arms are just going back and forth with a very short action. Now that's going to get the ball to jump over any uneven surface, hit the green and roll much closer to the hole. Like a putting stroke back and through and it jumps over any long grass. And as you can see, the result is much better. The bump and run shot, not a shot you should overlook, a shot that should be practiced and a shot that should be used out on the golf course. Because I promise you, you will see better results. You won't hit duff shots. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, lots more to come. Make sure you follow the Facebook page and tag a mate who needs that shot in their locker. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.